Hey everyone, now, I'm just a amateur biker, do jumps, everything else, um, but really this is just a, not a bike check, but this is the uh, Norco FS3 2020. Uh, before buying this I tried to look on YouTube uh, at the reviews and there really wasn't many on there and there was no bike checks and there was no this or that for this bike at all. So I thought I'm just going to upload this one really quickly just to show you basically. The bike if you're looking at buying it i 100 recommend it the few things i've done to this bike at the moment i've had this bike for three weeks at the most now the first thing you'll notice is the grips i've changed the grips um, for some ergonomic ones the back brake because it's a 29er i've gone ahead and upgraded it because the original brakes which i've got the original front on still they just it's just it doesn't have that to uh, stop the bike at all. I've also put myself my mud guard on which is standard and I've changed the pedals to these new proof plastic with the metal stub ones for that still additional grip. Also put a Shimano XTR uh, chain guard on it and if we look underneath the bike as well I've put on a rock cover underneath. Uh, now I've also made the tyres tubeless the ones that you know the ones that come with the bike um, I don't know if it actually states that they are tubeless ready or not, but they are indeed holding very well. Uh, say I've, I've took it for about 50 miles with the tubeless and they work absolutely fine. Uh, the front suspension and the rear suspension both feel absolutely lovely. It's very plush, soft, it's really nice. The rebound works really well. Uh, the drop post is great, works really good as well like before. Really good, nice and fast. When set up, make sure to put enough uh, air pressure in it and pumping it up so it comes up nice and fast. Um, it does have a little wob wobble like I have seen with the other uh, dropper posts in my life. Um, but that really doesn't bother me in, in at all, really. But it may, may bother some. It's something to note. Um, overall, this bike I use for normal everyday riding, mud riding, bit of downhill, jumps, and it can handle it all. Um, I'll be sure to put some videos up of what this bike can do and some of the routes I take it on. But at the minute, I cannot fault the bike. The one thing that I will change next is the bottom bracket. I will be changing it to uh, a hollow tech one, basically. Um, and that's really it for now. The plans, the future plans have like a hope hub on the back. Uh, but at the minute, I cannot fault the bike. Absolutely lovely. Lovely and lightweight. And I'd recommend it to anyone. If, you, if you're seriously considering buy this, I'd go ahead and click buy now because it is an absolutely amazing bike. It's very lightweight. Um, the 29 inch has no problems with handling and the agility of it. It's perfect. It's still very nimble. Especially me, I'm six foot one six foot two and yeah feels just like a 29 to me so uh, i hope this helps someone if they're looking to buy this bike um like i was trying to look for and i could not find anything so i hope this helps people uh see you later